let's start now here let me unlike this market I want to place only confirmed trades or confident trades because the market is not good these days it's not good to place our trade blindly and it's not good to place every every candlestick that's why I wanted to place my trade only with confidence only some confirmed trades and even if we predict the market we may lose our trades because of bad market these days so this is a level already we are seeing a rejection here also we are seeing a rejection ok I am going to place a lower option ok I placed a lower option because this is a level uh, this is a seller area you can see a seller area a strong seller entry a strong rejection or seller entry here also a strong rejection again there is a rejection in this candle and it closed at the level without breaking this level that's why I placed a lower option and this is a level you can see you can see the seller entry here so at least I can expect a reversal at least for one minute here ok we have 5 seconds ok this is a winning trade Okay, let me change the pair okay. so let me draw a level here ok there is a level a extreme level the market is here means we need a level near to this market so there is no proper level okay the next level is here here also there is a level but we can't trust this level so the market is not good in this place we are seeing a consolidation area is better to avoid okay I will place my trade on the next candle okay a weak candle still there is no confirmation I will place my trade on the next candle if this candle closes as a bearish candle I can go with sellers again because of this point a strong selling pressure from a strong buying pressure from this level to this level again we are seeing a seller centrist continuously seller entry again is seller entry again is seller entry so at least it may follow the same buying pressure here also a same selling pressure we can expect if this candle closes as a bearish candle ok I am going to place a lower option ok I placed a lower option because of this bearish candles a continuous bearish candles we can expect again a bearish candle here as well that's why I place a lower option because of this buying pressure again we can expect a same selling pressure here, uh, here as well ok let's see what happens here <coughs> ok if you see this type of situation you can expect a bearish candle here also always remember this point it will help you while you are trading ok you no need to worry about this buying pressure again it will reject and will close as a bearish candle ok we have 8 seconds ok ok you can see it closed as a bearish candle at the final so we no need to worry about this here 
I think I have an opportunity here. I am going to place it higher option. A very good entry point. So I wanted to place here higher option actually because. Okay, let me check this market first. So this is a downtrend actually. Here, the downtrend completed again. The market made some consolidation area. Again, it started to go up like this. Started to go up again. It made a bearish candle. So this is this is not a sign that the market will go down because the market is taking U-turn. Means you can take this candle as a continuation sign or a retracement for this uptrend like this because of this candle because of this level you can expect this candle as a retracement candle only and my entry point also very good so even if this can close as a bearish candle I may win this trade okay it closed as a bullish candle okay. you can see again the buyers are trying in this candle the buyers wants to go up so this is a retracement candle only so we can't trust this candle we can't go with sellers even there is a engulfing candle because the market is going up here we are seeing a downtrend here the market started to go up so we can expect this candle as a retracement candle only so let me analyze next chart same GBP pair okay here also okay I think I have an opportunity here okay okay I'm going to place it a higher option okay I placed it a higher option because of this candle a continuation sign in the middle of the bullish momentum and the previously we are seeing a momentum here also a strong momentum again here also we are seeing a momentum in the middle of the trend it made a bearish candle a weak bearish candle so it will work as a continuous sign only that's why I placed here a higher option ok let's see what happens here there is a level here but we can't trust this level we can't trust this level that's why I placed here a higher option Okay. Okay. You can see it closed as a bullish candle finally. Okay, a continuing sign like this. A continuing sign in the middle of the trend. The, the next reversal point is here only, not here. This is only. So if you see this type of weak candles in the middle of the strong momentum, strong bullish momentum always try to follow the momentum don't go with sellers even if you see a bearish candles okay let me analyze next chart okay, I didn't choose these pairs because these all are GB pairs it will look like same market that's why I have added these pairs because to explain on different charts Okay, strong selling pressure again a strong selling pressure okay we need to see whether there is a level or not okay so there is a level okay we are seeing upper rejections continuously means the buyers may enter because we are seeing upper rejections in these three bearish candles so it's not good to place my trade here so it's better to wait for the next candle even there is no level we can expect a bullish candle if you see this type of upper rejections it's not good that's why I'm waiting for the next candle here okay again the selling pressure started okay let's see if this candle closes as a bearish candle can go with buyers if this candle kind of close as a bullish candle we can go with sellers only okay okay I'm going to place a lower option okay I placed a lower option because of this weak bullish candle with rejection from sellers 
and here also there is a rejection from sellers here also there is a rejection from sellers but these are the bearish candles so we can take these upper rejections as a buyer's interest only and here this is a bullish candle we a weak bullish candle that's why I wanted to place a lower option ok let's see what happens here again buyer centered ok let me check this level first ok here a level I don't know why it is going up so there is a level here but I don't think that the uh, level is strong level ok no problem ok I took only this point ok no problem sometimes we may lose our trades it's very common ok let me change the pair and analyze the market ok ok this is a downtrend ok if you observe we are seeing some bullish candles again bearish candle bullish candle bearish candle bullish candle bearish candle bullish candle bearish candle again we are seeing a bullish candle if there is no level we can go with sellers if this candle closes as a bullish candle ok this candle closes as a bearish candle ok I am going to place a lower option ok I placed a lower option because I am seeing a bearish candle with strong selling pressure and here as well a selling pressure and the trend is a downtrend and there is no level here the next level is here if you see the next level is here a continuous sign in the middle of the trend so it will work this is also a confirmed trend because of these strong rejections and in this case already we are seeing a strong rejection again a strong rejection we can place a lower option here in this candle but we can't place a lower option in this candle because already we are seeing a rejections three times upper rejection three times in the previous three bearish candles so it it will not work it will work here also you can see a strong two rejections it is working here ok this is also a winning trade I don't know why I lost this trade sometimes we may loss even if we predict the market well where very well it's very common we no need to worry about that ok till now I placed uh, 6 trades ok this is my first trade oh my god you can see you can observe this market a very bad market so if you see this type of consolidation area then try to avoid it you can't predict it's not possible even the market is good it's not possible to predict each and every candlestick just try to avoid if you see any bad market this is also a bad market that's why I placed my trade with at the SNR levels and with confirmations only only some confident trades only I placed here and this is a level you can see uh, so many times it reversed and here also it closed at the level with rejection and previously already we are seeing a rejection this is a weak candle with the with compared to previous candle means the buyers became very weak at this point that's why I placed a lower option and this one you can see the market started to go up and you can take this candle as a retracement candle also Ret retracement candle only you can see again a retracement candle retracement these are the retracement candle only in the uptrend so in uptrend or downtrend if you see any bullish candles like this in uptrend if you see any bearish candle like this don't take these candles as a reversal candlesticks don't place your trade a lower option if you see a bearish candles it will confuse you but if you see any striped uptrend like this these are only a retracement candles after these candles you can place a higher option confidently and here also you can see after these candles you can place a lower option confidently 
so always place a lower option if you see this candle even if you loss always try to place a lower option it will work try to avoid this type of consolidation area so this is my third trade because already i told you there is a strong buying pressure a strong buying pressure started from this level to this level these two candles are very strong and this is also a strong candle even there is a strong candle it reversed again it reversed again it reversed the market is making bearish candles continuously upper rejection continuously and also a lower rejection also and if you see this type of movement on the left side and if you see any strong bearish candles or any bearish momentum like this always try to place a lower option and here also it reversed finally it made a bullish candle because of these strong rejections and here also here also a strong rejections it made a bullish candle again it reversed so if you see any strong buying pressure on the left side if you see any three candles like this you can expect a bearish candle again and this is a this is my fourth trade I already told you this is only a retracement candle in the middle of the trend you can see here also here also these are only a retracement candles you can't trust these candles because we are seeing a straight downtrend a straight uptrend at this point if you see any bearish candles like this always try to follow the trend don't go against the trend it will confuse you on this type of strong candles also will confuse you don't confuse try to place a lower option only and this is my fifth trade i lost this trade i don't know why i thought it would give me a winning trade a sure winning trade but it gave me a losing trade sometimes even if you think it is sure we may lose the trade so that's why always try to follow the money management it will help you risk management it will help you to not loss more money and this is my sixth trade because of these strong rejections in these two bearish candles and here also we are seeing a strong downtrend and the strong next reversal point is here so you can see until to this level it continued again a bearish candle means the buyers are not interested even there is a breakout again sellers entered now the buyers are interested here so always try to analyze the market always place your trade with confidence because these days the market is not good because of corona effect and try to avoid bad market and try to follow the trendy market only and always observe the market always analyze the market and be safe and follow money management and risk management you can place your trades like this don't place each and every candlestick wait for the right opportunity and place only confirm trades and try to analyze the market trend and strong and the present candle and the rejections and everything Okay, thank you for watching my video. If you like, if you like my video, like, share, and subscribe.